Hey, uh, today we're doing a uh, Let's Play of GTA 3. It's like one of my favorite games, so I figured I might do it. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know, that girl that's running right, you know, what you just saw. Yeah, that one. That's Catalina from GTA San Andreas. Yeah, I know, she looks way different, but it's her. years for love oh yeah if you didn't know in this game you play as a guy named Claude Speed I mean I, I don't know if his last name is Speed but I don't know. people keep saying it's the same Claude from GTA 2 as yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no proof has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses, and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Liberty Penitentiary isn't even a place, by the way. Like, like in the game, it's not even a place. Senor there's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Why doesn't the guy driving the van just call for backup? Aye, aye, get lost. Like <clears throat> Why doesn't he drive away? It's like... place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low but my hands are all messed up so you better drive brother i have several questions one why would you blow up the freaking brooklyn bridge and two what where did you get where did you get explosives like that and three why didn't the guy in the police van just drive away like if you guys didn't see the hummer it literally just it drove in front of it, and then it stayed in front of it for like a few seconds, and then it reversed out of its way. He had more than enough time to just drive away and just, you know, call for backup. But then again, I might just be overanalyzing it. I don't know. This takes place in like Liberty City. It's, it's you know, it's like a play on Liberty City. The island we're on right now, Portland, that's a play on Brooklyn. Here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Say hello to Eight Ball, lady. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. 
one of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Oh, jeez. He doesn't need, like, a background check or anything. Karuma. Sorry, homeless guy. Here's one thing that really, like, bugs me about this game. Literally, if you go anywhere and just keep walking, you're gonna see, like, a hundred newspapers on the ground. And they all say, just, like, Zombie Elvis found, or something like that. Same thing with Vice City, too. Oh, yeah, also, I wanna show you this car, by the way. This game has like hidden packages, hidden like secret places, and every time you collect 10 of them, you get a new weapon. So, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Aw, oh, yeah, the Banshee. Banshee, it's like the fastest car in the game. Or it's at least the fastest one you can get right now. Yeah. Luigi's. <sighs> I mean, I'd make a joke about, you know, where's Mario? But, you know, it's been done like a hundred times. Here, give you this, so, here, here, take it. There's a new eye on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise man has been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go. And introduce a bat to his snake. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Uh, yeah, I'd... I'm not gonna pick up that bat. Cause there's an easier way to killing this guy. It's called running him over. Super save, it's like a it's like a parody on a Walmart. Boom. And I killed one of Luigi's girls. Oh well, I don't care. Oh wait no, that's a homeless guy. Oh wait, no, that that's that's the guy we're supposed to kill. How did he how how does he die from that? Oh I really hate this car by the way. Like it, it's turning. It's not good. It feels like you're maneuvering like a brick. This is the pain spray. It's freaking where you go to respray your car and you lose the cops. It's that simple. It's like even if they see you go in, they don't know where you are. It's like you got turned invisible. It's it's weird. Like, I'm glad they fixed that in later games, where the cops have to s not see you. Like, you can't be in their line of sight, or else you can't go in the paint spray. Oh my gosh. This, this, like, little alley right here, it's completely pointless. It's only made for this mission, I'm pretty sure. It's not like a hidden package or anything. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, that this is the uh, Sweeney General Hospital. Hey, give me your card. Give me your card. Give me your card, please. Thanks. Talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Alright, get a vehicle. Uh, I got a pedo van. And I just ran someone over again. <clears throat> oh my gosh. She walks so slowly. Just get in the van, lady. Okay, thanks. Oh, this, this game doesn't have a map, by the way. Like, it... You can't actually see where you are. You just have to, like, look at the mini-map. Like, like, I'm glad that later GTA games, in fact, every single one after this, had a map that you could look at in, like, the pause menu. But this one doesn't. I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? All right, he Claude doesn't speak, like like at all, in this game. He hasn't spoken at all. Like he only appeared in one other GTA game besides this one. No, two actually the game like GTA Advance which I'm sure none of you have played I don't know it's it's like really rare some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard go and take care of things for me if you need a piece Go around back of Amnonation opposite the subway. Hey man, this is a Christian server. No cursing. Alright, get in the van again. Alright. Wait, let me check. Is there any in the shop? Why is everything out of stock? Why do you only sell? Why do you only sell nine millimeter weapons? And where? Dang it! Where'd my pedo van go? Hey, you! Give me your car, please. Okay, thanks. I'll give it back. Maybe. You basically just have to like bump in this guy once. Boop. Uh, come on, come on, get out, get out, get out. Thanks. Yep. Oh my god, of course I get. No, no, ah. I'm gonna finish that one. Now, you know, on second thought, I think I'll end it here, actually. Because I'm probably over time.